What's up everybody? Thank you for coming to another entrepreneur video. You guys seem to be liking the detailing content. So I'm giving you more with the homie Mike. How you doing today, man? Doing good, man. All right, man. For the audience that doesn't know you, what's your name, business name, and what areas do you cover? So my name is Mike Abadaka. My business is MJ Detail. Um, and as far as the, the coverage that I do, South Bay, LA, OC, Valley a little bit. So it's just no no limit to it. Hey, there's no limit, but you can't forget about the gas. Hey, if they're willing yeah. to pay. Just <laughs> what I say, just a mobile fee. As long as you can pay for the distance, that's all that matters. There you go. And you're 22. Yes. You got two employees. Two. And we got a busy day today. We sure do. Oh, uh, what do we get in the works? So pretty much we're gonna start off more with the ceramic coating. Uh, we're gonna do the wheels and then stuff like that on a red eye then we got another Range Rover that we do a full detail on and then we got two other cars that are just basic maintenance routine um, another one's a maybe so we're gonna go ahead and see from there all right and you're mobile but you also have a shop back there yes so like a like a little shop you know no, it's uh, pretty nice man thank you, you, know, thank you put in work thank you in this video you gotta get all this free 99 knowledge so make sure to stick around and you're ready to get started with the first car? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, Michael, so what's the game plan, man? So what we're gonna do is start with the interior, go ahead and, and just vacuum it, wipe it down, because we got a big detail, so we want to get that out of the way. Um, and then after that, just wash it, clay it, prep work it, and then throw it in the back, and then take off the wheels, and then really start doing the big detail. Ooh. How many cars are we doing today? Projected like five, four to five, four to five. Um, but this one is the prioritized. It's really new, doesn't need too much paint work, so it should be a lot easier. But we are gonna go ahead and ceramic coat the wheels, calipers, plastic, vinyl wrap, and the paint. Got it, man. Sounds good, do your thing. So now that you're done uh, with the car on the inside, what's next? So what's next is the exterior. So we're gonna go ahead and degrease the wheels, clean them all up, and then we're gonna go ahead and wash the vehicle, then give it a clay bar, and then once you're done clay bar, quickly dry it, and then throw it in the back, lift it up on the jacks, take off the wheels, and start prep work before the paint correction. This right here is a, a clay bar. It's a, well, it's a clay bar. And um, there's a red one and a blue one. Red one's more for a medium grade. This is a finer grade because this car is not contaminated as much as you would think a lot of other cars would be. So we're doing the least aggressive method. And this is really just cleaning it all up. It's a, a safer, in a sense, method than an actual clay bar because if I drop this, I just need to spray some clay lube wipe it up, and then go back to town on it. Now that it seems like you're finished with the car, uh, what's the next process? So now that we kind of semi-dried it, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the back, take off the wheels, or jack it up, take off the wheels, 
and then we're gonna go ahead and start doing the prep work. So we're gonna go tape up the edges, tape up a little plastics and stuff. So why do we have to take off the tires? Well, we're taking off the actual tires and rims so we can go ahead and ceramic coat the actual barrel of the wheel really, really good. Cause if you look at it right now, the clearance of the actual wheel and caliper is really, really tight. So I won't be able to get back in there. And I wanna get the whole backside of the actual caliper on the wheel. What's the game plan right now? So what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and have them go ahead and polish it um, and then pretty much do all the prep work so then I can just come back and go ahead and do the actual ceramic coating with them. Uh, we're gonna go to um, Inglewood and we're gonna go to downtown LA to do two cars. One of them's gonna be like a full detail and then the second one's gonna be just more of a maintenance detail. Is this your usual schedule? Like, you set up the big job for them and then you go do the mobile detailing? Or you know, do you mix it up? Yeah, so this, I mean, I would say this month has been very hectic. So I like to schedule it more. Big details, I'm here. But if it means where it's a lot of people, I just got to go ahead and just do what I got to do. You know, have them do that while I, I take care of some other stuff and then come back and finish it. So, I got you, man. All right, so where are we going? So we're going to Inglewood first and then downtown. Let's go. All right, Mike. We were only supposed to do this car. Yes, this one car. And then the customer hit you up with what? It was like, all right, can you do this one and another car? Can you do that one? Because, I mean, we have another detail at the end of this. Yeah. And then go back to your shop. Yeah. So in this in this situations where it's like, oh, well, I can get extra work, that's where I just tell the customer, hey, look, I already got a planned out day. If I can squeeze it in in the same time frame, we'll do it. But for the most part, I already know that one and that one might take easily two, three hours just to do those two. So when it comes down to that, we just postpone. Yeah, he seems pretty chill though. Yeah. So what are you gonna do to this car? So this one, wash, clay, wax. Uh, the interior, we're gonna go ahead and steam it, vacuum it, clean the carpets. And uh, yeah, just do a good little deep oil clean and that's it. And how much would you charge for something like this? Uh, something like this would probably be like 300 bucks, give or take. 300 bucks? Yeah. So, wait, would that also be 300 bucks? No, this one would be around the 60, 70 dollar range. Oh, okay. Kind of like a simple wash yeah. type of thing. Yeah. Oh, and then we're going to do the engine on this one too. All right, man. Do your thing, do your thing. So we just finished that job. How much you make with that? That was a cool 340. 340, man. Not bad. Not bad at all. But you were telling me this customer, he actually left you before? Yeah, um, I wouldn't want to say he left me completely, but he was testing waters. All right, so he tried your service. He liked your service, but he ghosted you for a couple months. And then it turns out, that he went shopping around for somebody to do what you do for a lower price. Right. How'd you feel about that, man? I don't, 
had me thinking like did I do a bad job or you know what could I have done better and then I just kind of realized you know what if it's none of those and he simply did what you know I thought what he did yeah. And, yeah and then he hit you back up and was like hey my I missed you bro so <laughs> it was like, it was like, like, oh, like, how you doing, you know? Hey, I was like, no, no, hey, hey, he messaged you at two in the morning. Hey, you up? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was similar to that. It really was. Yeah, and I yeah. was just like, you know, like, I knew you'd come back, you know? Yeah. Yeah, deep down in my heart, because I knew I did a good job. And he actually confessed. That's how we know what happened. He confessed. Yeah, bro, I went through other detailers. They're yeah. just not like you, Mike. Correct. That's exactly what he told me. He told me that, you know, just the way you do it is exactly the way I want it to be done. And he couldn't find it nowhere else. There you go. And he's been a loyal customer ever since. Absolutely. Just to show you guys, don't doubt yourself. Don't lower your prices if you don't have to. Because if you do a good job, they're gonna keep coming back. All right, Mike, we're back at the shop. So I see the team. They're knocking out the car real quick. Yep. What is that? What what detail is that? So that's uh, typically our tier two package, and that's more of a, a a little bit over a wash. So it gets more in the cracks, the crevices, deeper mm. wheel cleaning, and adds a little bit of a silica sealant spray that we put on. Mm. And uh, yeah, they're just wrapping it up. Another like 15 minutes, and we should be ready to coat that one up right now. What's uh? How much does that cost? That one's about 80 bucks. Okay. That would take. That's good. And then, uh, you think you can walk me down over there and see what we need? Yeah. So pretty much what we're going to be doing right now is going ahead and doing the actual final wipe down on the engine. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and prep the actual paint. We're going to spray this prep spray all the way around, clean the windows, and then do it on the calipers. We already did it on the wheels. And then going to go ahead and ceramic coat it paint wheels and calipers and then uh yeah just wrap it off take off the tape put some tire shine put the wheels back on and then unjack it and how much do you usually charge for something like this for like a wheels off and stuff like that probably would say anywhere starting with like eight to a thousand um typically something like this in particular when you're coating the wheels that sometimes a lot of customers do the plastics also about around the 1300 give or take so there you go we're done with today's detail hey man it was a really productive day today sure was is this a normal day busier or slower this is more of a normal day for us mm -hmm. i would say thankfully uh, a lot of our clients had just been getting back to back to back to back mm. so i'm in a position right now where it's just this week next week and you know the following's already looking a little crazy so this is more a day-to-day -day what we pretty much work with all right now before we tell you how much you made in one day detailing mike where can people follow you show you some love you can follow us at mj double underscore detail that would be for our detailing page there you go i'm gonna put it in the description below go show them some oh what areas do you cover los angeles area oc valley doesn't matter as long as you guys pay a distance fee we're willing to go anywhere that's right as long as you're willing to pay for the gas he got you now mike how much did you make in one day detailing today for the rough estimate i would say to about 1400 so he got 800 for this then we went to go do that detail 340 yeah. that's yeah. 11. yeah right? and then i had um another client that they did, that paid me about like almost 200 bucks. Wait a minute. Yo, I think you're ready, Mike, to go to the next level. <laughs> so your employees do, they could do details by themselves? Yeah, yeah. They take a long time? No, to... well, I mean, one thing that I, I pretty much wanted to do, just train them real quick. So they, so they, they know exactly how I wanted to get done in a, a good quality manner. And then, mm. you know, just follow on from there. There you go. So, if you want to go show them some love in the description below, if you like this detailing content, you want to see more, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.